what's going on guys today's fishing mission is going to be a little bit different pond hopping some neighborhoods i've never been to before and it's a little nerve-wracking walking through people's yards so the goal of today is to not get kicked out of anywhere wish me luck i think we're going to get into a few it's a beautiful beautiful day out here probably upper 60s but we're going to tear them up before i go though shout out to solid rock farms for you know hooking me up with this sweet hat There's one. Holy cow. Oh yeah, a little guy way out there. Always oh, running towards me. Pretty good fight on this guy. So I'm pretty surprised about, but I'll take that all day. He's no chunk, but he's thick. He's eating well. I wasn't even sure if there was fish in here, to be honest with you. This is the first one of the day, but it's so murky. Well, this is the first fish of the day basically fishing a bowl of chocolate milk but it's a good start there was my second bite i missed him i'm not sure if there's bluegills in here or what i really don't have a clue what's going on in this pond first time ever here only a couple casts in there we go gotta start somewhere i guess number two i know there's some bigger ones in here we'll get them There it is. It was a little bit better than the last one. Nope. There he goes. Kind of a quick release. That makes fish number three in this pond. Well, spot number one comes with three fish. Nothing monstrous, but it's a good, good start. We are going to keep on trucking and see if we can get some more at the next pond. Pond two, not good. On to pond three now, see what happens there. Hello, little duckies. Kind of a sketchy little trail. There's pond three. See what happens. There we go. I'll take that. Right off that drainage culvert out there. Nice. So there are bass in here. Pond three, first fish. Another one on the yum swimming dinger. Great bass though. Just really happy to be able to catch something today. Pond three produced one fish right at about 12 inches. This pond's definitely one of the more dirty ones I've gone to so far. The water wasn't as stained. It just was full of leaves and algae and pretty gross, honestly. There we go. I don't know what this is, but it's a big fish if it is. Could be a turtle. What the heck do I have? Yeah, it's a turtle. No shocker there. Okay, let's get you off. See if we can get him back in the water. Come on, there he goes. Perfect. Definitely not the ideal species, but counts, I guess. There he is. Seen him hammer it. He just ran a lot farther before I could set the hook. Wow, he has had a rough life. I think there might be some other turtles in there getting a hold of him. Top's ripped up pretty good right there. Another bass, 13 inches I'd say. moving on now we're getting into the no fishing no trespassing no recreational activities no anything no having fun basically so we'll see if we get kicked out of these hey 
Gosh dang, that was right there. Right there. I'm just gonna pitch this back in here. I know my bait's ripped, but let's see what happens. So that's one of the downsides to this bait. It's because it's so long and only has one small hook exposed, you're gonna miss a decent amount of fish. The ones that grab it from the front of the bait, there's no way they're they're gonna miss this thing, but the ones that grab it in the back, you have about a 50-50 shot on whether or not they're gonna completely grab this thing or if they're just gonna nip at that tail. There we go. And a whole bunch are moving now. <clears throat> there we go. I have walked over half of this pond just to catch this one. I've seen quite a few in here that are about 14 inches. And they must have recently stocked it because I've seen probably 500 to 1,000 of the small baby bass that are 4 to 6 inches. That's an awesome little guy right there. Basically, it seems like all the fish I'm catching are off the drain pipes. It's just about 20 yards to my left. There's a drain pipe. I think there's probably a little bit of water coming through there. It's attracting the fish. There we go. Well, I was trying to put stuff in my bag. That was a really, really, really slow bite. I just let it sit on the bottom. This guy's been caught before. He's got a piercing right there. Another large mouth. That one's a little bit smaller than the past one. There's quite a few largemouth right on this shore right here. They're just not interested. I don't know if the water temperature's not right or what. I've seen more fish in this pond than any of the other ponds, but they're just biting better at the other places. It's not going real well here. There's one. It's a pretty cool jump. Oh, he spit it. That's too bad. That was a decent one. Looked like around 13 inches again. That was another good bite. And I set the hook really hard trying to get it in there, but you know, doesn't always work out the best. He uh, must have only had the tail because that's all I got back was my jig head. There he is. They really. <laughs> They really like it swam, similar to a jerk bait, which is insanely weird to me, because I would have never expected that. Another little 12 incher. The size is just, it's not very impressive in here. But well, he fell victim to the swimming dinger, so pretty much getting one fish out of these before they rip similar to this, and then, you know, they're just, they're soft. So I might not be catching a ton of fish, in this pond but I at least found where the fish are they're all right here this culvert is entering so all the fish are joining here to get that current that is a beautiful beautiful sunfish that's just too big I'm trying to get a little guy that way I can try to catch a bass on him. But this thing is just a monster. But I tell you what, he is beautiful. It's a beautiful fish. He's gonna live to see another day. I'm gonna get some more crappie nibbles and see if I can get a smaller one. It's another really nice bluegill. Fortunately, I just think it's too big. I mean, they're a heck of a bluegill, and those are definitely eaters. It's 
Wow, that fish hammered him. That was insane. Like right on the edge. Another 12 incher. Right off the rocks, right where I'm throwing that guy back in. I didn't even see him. He must have come full throttle at it. All right, I'm going to move on now. There's a few ponds left to go. There he is. Just on my way back, I see a bunch of bass out there. Got a cast at him. I don't know what it is. The other side, I couldn't catch a single fish. On this side, it seems like I can't hardly get away from them. Another bass. Fortunately, uh, I think I gill hooked him, so he is probably gonna. I'll be doing so hot. There's one. Feels like a good one. Oh, nice jump. This is a good fish. Switched over from that last pond. Now I'm here. This is a good two pounder, I'd say. Yeah, he's pulled a little bit of drag. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a solid bass. This is by far the best one of the day. Absolutely beautiful two pounder. Look at that. Right in the top of the mouth and just pops right out. Yeah, I'm swimming dingers, working. Look at this monster fish, incredible. I was not expecting that. Out of this little dinky one acre pond, if it's even an acre. It's a solid two pounder, very happy with this fish. Right back down. So when I'm, when I'm working this pond, I'm usually thrown towards the edges. This is the first time I've ever been here. But I can already tell just by walking around that a lot of these fish are up shallow. We're going to give it a couple more casts and then we're going to move on to the next pond. There it is. Wonder if it was the same one. There he is. Does he have two swim baits? No, he only has one, so this must be a different fish. It's barely hooked. First one from this pond. That's a good little 13 incher. That's the third bite I've had from here though, so I know there's some good fish action going on here. I think a lot of the people that come here just fish for bluegill, so the panfish take quite a beating here, but I don't think the bass are nearly as abused in this location. But he sure hit that uh, swimming dinger pretty hard. I don't know what it is, but they always wait until the very, very last second, right when it's on that weed edge, and they hammer it. There it is. Immediately. I had a good feeling. Every time I see a drain collard, it's like a 80% chance you're going to hook up. There you go. It's a good one. They usually are just sitting on that drain, waiting on bait to either come out or the current's got them. Could be any different reason. First fish of this pond. So there's a connection to three different ponds here and I'm gonna give at least two a try. One of them is very, very small. But I'm glad to be out here catching these fish. It's always fun catching fish, but the real mission, I should say for today, was exploring, trying new places, seeing what each body of water holds. And then if I see fish, I can always come back. But today, I was able to go to 10 or so different ponds and try all of them. They're all new to me, never been to any of them. All right, guys, if you look right there, that's what you call a storm rolling in. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was incredibly awesome to make. Loved coming out here today and loved making this caught quite a few bass way more than I was expecting for just going around and exploring a lot of fun though a lot of fun thanks for watching everyone I really hope you enjoyed this video like I said I was using a four inch yum swimming dinger for most of it I'm just using a tenth ounce z-man ned rig jig head on top and uh, the fish just they can't handle it working it like a jerk bait and it really caught me a lot of fish but thanks for watching everyone and I will catch you guys on the next episode.